Last time I went to my place. And I beat on my picking. And I jay him. Just for revenue. Just for tax. And I jay the man. All the way. And I know my, I know my problem. And I know that I have accident. All my food left in the water. Everybody in the whole country. And I know my problem. Everybody. I know my problem. I go jay my picking. And I beat on the man. I have business. I beat on the man. And the man slept me jay. The next day before. I, while I'm in my river before I talk to some other people to go free the man for the police station. So I want it very heavy to be frank. I'm not expecting the government to be able to have to basically do what I pay in taxes. I pay in taxes. I have my friend receive everything. I pay to the liberal government to help us. All the guys money back getting business, so can go and steal. Now, when I get out of I start taking drugs. They'll say, oh, they're 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 on the way on. I start taking drugs, but I don't know what happened. So now, I get, in, my, in my own house, I can get fed with my children because I don't get money. And I should not be there. Like, when I sell more, somebody's not getting money. I don't do business. Somebody's not like, like, getting cash. I don't do business. All the time, but I'm not seeing anything. I don't see here. When I call my friend, when you told me that, when it met, you know, when it met, every time, I, I, every time I get pushing, I can't be going to somebody for help. Every day and then, I can't be going to somebody for help. I'm a taxpayer in the, in, 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 the, in the country. I appeal to the liberal government to help us. Not get by business, too, we'll be able to pay our taxes. I rest. I can't swim. I can't do anything. So 
I care very closer to you, comforting you. The water pushing closer to me. Now the hand on me and the girls who started coming. That's how we begin to give our life on the track on the foot of by eleven some minutes to eleven uh late evening because we were the first rescue team. We were rescued by twelve AM. We saw the first vessel. I don't know whether to go rescue us or to go fishing. I don't know whether to flash the light over us. And put me to never see anybody when we went back. So the single rescue team went, which is the maritime. And the fourth minute, what we saw was a small uh, floater coming close to us. We thought it was a ship going to the river to go upload their goods. But by the grace of God, we did to survive. We could survive for the vessel. So that's my experience I have on the vessel. I also want to say I'm sorry for everything. We lost our friends. We lost our family, our members. We lost our auntie and everybody. I consider that to be my mother and father because of the country. That is the beauty of life. You know, you can tell why. You know, you can tell why. You know, so, okay. Um, so uh, we have Abraham, Hallelujah, uh, legal and a businessman. So we take the business angle from the emotional side where people got like drowned and people died. We just swept that part away. So Abraham here, we just so the shop, show the thing. I did the business and I appeal to the government to help us. Thank you very much. And also, we thank everybody who attended to this program and also we thank the Latvian government. And we thank everybody who is here and also we can see a story to the people who their family died when in the ship. So, yes, brother, we sorry for that. And also, you know, just like the other one, Mr. Peter said, this is not the first time or the second time for the ship to go on the water. I can be in May, I can be there. But the first one it happened in 2012, if I'm not making a mistake. Uh, that one is for uh, happening by the time of the past government, so that's for uh, Mr. Eddie Gates, he said it, government. And um, said the government in Liberia is only have good feeling for their people, so because of that, uh, they help the business people for them to pay the money. So they pay everybody, I can say, they, get every, they pay everybody for the money that remain in the water. But my sister, I wanted to force him who will have goods there. And now, now is the, that's uh, George Weir government. And we thank you very much. And we hope to do the same thing that what other people will do before. But the Liberia government, I have good feeling for that. People will thank them for that. No, for me, I have a business by the name of Ibn K. I live here for a long time ago. I am the other taxpayer. Even the 2019, they gave me a war to the tax appreciation for the taxes. So that they were still having with me. And but now the business is too difficult because of, uh, because of the senior accident that happened. Because we, the business people, are getting business people getting two we do go to the bank and check the room to find a deal on a business. But when you go to the bank and check the room, you know that that money is giving patients every day. So if you are not doing the business, so you are entering a problem. And like we, uh, some of us, I cannot not go to the bank to take room, but we can take people and talk with the, our business friend in Morovia to help us to carry all the, 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 the goods. But always, we can talk on behalf of one month of period, one month period to pay the money back. So if you not pay, then they'll close your account. For now, now many of us are high happen to us. They close our account on behalf of the business, so they have left, we have some money to pay cash, then you can't buy it. And now, the more that I'm going to lose, we are trying to stay humble with us on behalf of that. And we are trying to pay much more. Because we will not pay the people, we are only going to give for that stuff. Thank you.
situation. I know the government is hearing you and I'm quite sure we'll come to your rescue. From all indications that the Senate has passed a resolution that they know who are responsible for this. You know, the Maritime and the National Port Authority. So everything is going to be fine. I can promise you because the government is a good hearted government. I want to thank Dr. Dr. George Manuia, who is a good friend of mine. You know, the way he approached this thing, I think that's the way people should do that. So we thank you everybody. Just keep your heart, keep praying. And God will be able to help others. So, uh, journalists, thank you so much. Uh, we can ask some questions. So, we'll close. Yeah, my well, question goes to you. Uh, sorry, I need to Jacob Hutton Matthew. Okay, Jacob Hutton Matthew. Thank you so much. Uh, according to you, you had a boy that you were breaking. So, what's the condition of the boy? No, I do mean, not have a but you talk about uh, yeah. someone handing over a child to you. What's the condition of the child? Yes, you know, the child was dead. Okay. Can you move over? Okay. Okay. Oh, the water. Yeah, make it clear, you know. Okay. You got drowned. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got drowned. Thank you so much. My name is Moses Jibli. I report for EOBC at the same time, right, for 420 TV. I want to find out, we were told that the government have identified with the victims. How true is this information? What, are the, what was the identification the government have made? Yeah, the government has identified with the victims. First, with the bereaved family. I think the Senate passed a resolution that the bereaved family each received 20000 and six dollars Each family. And for the, the, the business people who are alive, the, the survivors, who have goods in the, in the, in the ship, the amount has not been identified. We are still collecting it. So far, we have gone $1.5 million. After this press conference, we're going to conclude it because the person who's going to represent the team, which is me, I'm going to go to Monrovia, you with Dr. Chambers, and you with the president. So the total amount, as far as we got now, is about $1.5 million. It's going to go beyond that. $11? United States United States dollars. Yeah, United States dollars. So the, the, the intervention of the, the government made is only affected the bereaved family, not those who have goods on the ship. To my knowledge, the bereaved family, am I right? Yes. right, yes. right. They, I think Dr. the Chimas, the caucus went and gave people $50,000, right? Yes. Yeah, they put a lazy, right? Yes. Okay. For, 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 but when the Senate passed a resolution, it's about twenty thousand United States dollars for the bereaved family. That was a resolution. Right of the resolution. Yeah, that's 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 it in the balance. We are going to talk about it. We will get to Monrovia. So let me just understand something. The fifty thousand that was presented to the victims, the uh, survivors. Yes, thank you. I said you tendered for uh, medication or to recover your damage. No, that's, that's not for the damage, that's for medication and, you know, consolation. But the, the damages, that's what we're talking about now. You know, the damages we're talking about now, that's the one we put together to conclude immediately after this, this press conference to go to Monrovia and present it to the government. Did the government make any promissory note relatively to uh, repaying the damages? Well, we say promissory note, no. I spoke with my boss, who's the, the speaker, the current speaker of the House of Representatives, Dr. Chimas. And Dr. Chima said, because normally I used to advocate on my own, and I was advocating on behalf of this, this the, the, the victims now. He said, no, you can't do that because it's a legislative position. You got to do it free of charge for them. So that's, that indicatively says that the government understands the situation, and they want to be able to help our people. But no promissory note. But that indication comes from the speaker's office to say, go ahead and do it free of charge, because that's, that's the job for the government. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And that's the appeal we're still making that the government bring more step forward so that as soon as possible, because it's really as a dire situation in Maryland County, the goods and services are just out of sight, you know, and the people businesses are almost breaking down, collapsing, like you said, you know, 
LRA go to collect the, the revenue or the taxes, he can't pay. And they have to put him in jail and all the kind of stuff. So we are not fighting against the government. We are asking the government to help us. Because this situation only comes out of frustration. You can hear the frustration among the people, the distress and stuff like that. So I'm um, Alfonso Bonner from CUFM here in Napa. And I also report for Passion TV Nigeria. I want to say sorry for the situation. And I hope that uh, your name will be met. Now, and I'm concerned with the uh, contribution and the position of maritime, the Nigerian maritime association. Uh, information received so far that the they said that the government is saying that they should be responsible for uh, some of your opinion or some of your things. What well, have been the position from your side if, if, if the information is given? Well, the resolution that came from the Senate made NPA liable and maritime liable because the only way you put a ship on Ladurian waters, you have to register with maritime. And the only the ship leaves the port, NPA, the port has to do the investigation and see what they see. What. If they didn't do that, and they knew the ship was not supposed to be flying the water, the Liberian water, because they said that ship was supposed to dock for a certain amount of time. And it just left and went out. So evidently, Maritime, National Port Authority, responsible. They're liable for all of these things. But the Port Authority and Maritime, they're part of the government. So evidently, the government has to take the, the responsibility, you know, to get to them and get to the ship owners to pay because you can't ask the common people to go behind the ship owners because some of the ship owners don't even have insurance. So they don't have insurance. So yeah, the government is involved all the way around. But our appeal is, even though we know they're liable, we're still appealing to the government that, 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 that we have to look into this heart to see how to help these poor people with their business. That was a two more questions. So, so lastly from our end, uh, um, uh, in a situation like this, when you are pushing for for uh, social justice and pushing for the rightful things to be done. Sometimes your demand um, cannot be met by those you expect to push out for it. What may be your next action if all of what you are pushing uh, um, is not you know, being given attention by central government? From all indications, like I said, I handled the first ship, ship right. I did that for three years. You know, and then when the government got ready to pay and pressure the insurance company, whatever contribution they gave, how people are satisfied. For example, if I lost $10 and you give me $8, it's better than zero. So we appreciate what the government will do for, you know, you gotta put goose on the shelf. If somebody lost about $25,000, you know, and you're getting what, $20,000 or $23,000, I think people will appreciate it. For me, in my opinion, that's what I'm thinking. Because all my cases is to settle out of court, not to go to court. You can't take government to court. You know, it will take the longest time for you to succeed. So our people are not demanding anything beyond the use of the government. But look at the government heart, Dr. George. We are. Look at his heart. And what Dr. Chambers did also, as a clear indication that they are willing to help our people out. So we don't have no benchmark. I mean, we know the damages that we got. So they have to identify what the damages and see what they can do for our people. Let's look at the category of survivors, the business people, not business people. How many persons are we discussing? The business people are approximately, we got 65, but that's probably more than that. We got 65 persons, but most people still calling to come in. They just heard the news that we are working on this. So approximately 70 business people will have to deal with. 70 business persons survived? 70, 70 persons. So far, they survived. They survived. You know, the other people that didn't survive, that includes the YS people and the two persons from Maryland. Maryland lost two persons. That's Rita and Dio Kamawe. So our whole idea is to appeal to the government. You know, we're not making demands. Even though we know for the world that we have to pay taxes, and that's the only way people pay taxes. You gotta have, you know, money rolling around for you to pay taxes. So we're still appealing to Dr. George Weir, you know, um, to look into his heart and see Maryland County, we got a lot of things we can talk about. The road is extremely bad. And the work that, that the, we are did here from here to go to to go to, to go to fish now, it's perfect. If that can happen from here to Monero, good God, man. I mean there's nothing else we need in this world again will be satisfied. So we're asking Dr. We are since the road is extremely bad and we have this kind of situation, let's find a solution to it. First they put our business people into the into the stores. Let it do business and pay taxes to the government, and then the rest can be done. 
you know, with the road and stuff like that. And we'll offer a moratorium on some of the vessels that have not seen worth it. But in the meantime, right now, it's rough and tough. The people need something. They got a, the businesses that are run. The people who've been running businesses for the past 30 years yet, and they broke. So we gotta ask uh, Dr. Weir. We appeal to Dr. Chambers, also to appeal to Dr. Weir to see how we can get something out of our people. For me, I'll be coming to Monrovia to meet with Dr. Chambers and then to meet with the president so that we can iron this thing out. But the feeling is good things are going to happen. Okay. Finally, before we eat, I don't really want to. Yeah, I want to thank uh, Senator Blebo Brown also and the Senate for passing that resolution. They done extremely well. I also want to thank the entire uh, caucus, Maryland Legislative Caucus, for the work that they have continued to do. We want to appeal to them to continue working hard because these are the people who run the, the economic machinery. If there's no business running, they can't pay taxes. And the more taxes they pay, the better development we'll get in the country. So we've got to help them. So we thank those who have been helping us, including other people that are in the, in the House of Representatives, other people that are outside, and people in, in, in the United States, that Maryland in the United States that are fighting for us. We want to also thank that, that encourage them to make sure, at least before we can go any further, let these business people go back to work <clears throat> so that they'll be able to pay taxes to help our people. And thank you so much, journalists. And leave our voice, please. Let the message reach why in here, far in here, everywhere. We want to hear the people talking about it so that everybody can bring in prayers. Let all the churches pray that our people can be able to get something, especially those.